good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. When your boy came on to YouTube, you know, I thought this was an opportunity to meet a lot of different brothers from across uh, across the nation. And I was right. It was so many uh, talented black men, you know, East Coast, West Coast, down South, Midwest. And um, I was able to meet what I would consider a lot of friends. Uh, some of the brothers have even come and saw me, uh, have seen me rather in Africa, where the LER movement, brothers like Jay Shine, just so many brothers I have met and politicked with over the years. Um, but here's something that I, I think I have an issue with, and this is what I see. A lot of creators, they, 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 they meet up, they become friends, they become cordial, and a lot of creators are fake. You know what I'm saying? And uh, academics, let me just say this, from what I can see of him in the content creator community, um, he's bigger than, than us, but he seems like a stand-up guy as far as who he deals with. You know what I mean? I've never really heard somebody say that, you know, as a content creator, they met him and he was a phony or he was a fraud. But man, I've seen that with Hassan Campbell, man. And Hassan Campbell, he's met up with so many guys, Doggy Diamonds. Uh, you know, there was Sonetter, um, you know, Wack 100. It's just been so many pe people that he has met. And then all the time that he meets these people, he always got some some BS in the game, man. And um, it seems like, you know, when you when you meet up with content creators and, and, and there's an issue about them, all you got to do is call them. Like, yo, man, you know, it's X, Y, and Z going down with you, man. You know, I'm, I'm hearing, you know, such and such is going on. What's up, man? You know, I just want to talk to you about it and, and, and get your, you know what I mean? Get your situation right. Because that's how Hassan Campbell and academics, they have worked together. Hassan Campbell went to his podcast. And so when you want somebody to come to your podcast, you got to call them and talk to them and all kind of stuff, right? Check this out. Academics gets hit with these allegations, uh, which I don't think are true, right? I don't think it's true at all. In fact, he exposed the text messages. Now, this whole grooming thing, that's something that's new they're trying to say, which I don't really see. I mean, you know, one of the messages were a little question, I ain't gonna lie. But really, I don't know how they'll get him on that. Um, but anyways, basically, they know each other. Hassan clout chasing Campbell could have just reached out to the guy and said, hey, man, you know, this was going on. Did he do that? No. I'm gonna let you hear what this clown ass did and what kind of video he put up about academics, somebody he knows, right? This is what Hassan Campbell did. I don't care who you are. No means no. And I'm not, the, I'm not like the rest of these cats, right? That are sit up there. Yo, turn that dryer off. I'm not like the rest of these cats that when I see my mans in some hot water, I'm going to act like I don't see the topic that's going on. I hate, with a passion, the R. Kelly's of the, war, the world. With a passion. I hate a rapist. Plain and simple. I hate a rapist with a passion. Now, before I start this live, I'm going to make this shit clear. I'm not saying that academics is guilty. But I'm saying something, something just ain't right. Now, I want you to hear what academics did. Somebody said, address Freddie Gibbs and Hassan Campbell. You know, with all due respect to Hassan Campbell, Hassan Campbell is going through extreme trauma basically because he was molested. I get that. And, of course, everything he's going to ever talk about is because... He was in a situation with an abusive person that consistently for years and years that he was around. You know, I get why he's going to have the demeanor and disposition among that. Uh, I'm not here to discuss his trauma, nor I'm here to make him feel OK because of his trauma. He got to deal with his trauma on his own. I'm here to speak about facts that had to do with me. OK, so whether what he thinks, don't focus on. Listen, here's the thing. I don't know about his situation. My situation went to the police and they cleared it. If you never went to the police, because by the way, I support snitching on somebody who allegedly took advantage of you. I support snitching on that. OK, so I got no problem with the police being involved with that. If he ain't go to the police about Bambada taking whatever advantage of him, that's on him. Please don't bring your trauma onto my situation or bring trauma onto anything to do with me. 
deal with your own situations because anything you got to deal with mine, I'm going to go tell you that what the police and what I've helped the police try to uncover because I'm not here hiding from a moment thing. OK, Bambada not trying to listen to you. He ain't responding to you. He ain't making a video to you. He not about to go to the police for you. He ain't he ain't submit his phone for surveillance tape. None of that for you. I did that for a situation that I just happened in my crib. I did all that. And the police came out and said, ain't nothing to happen. If that didn't do that for you, go. If that still breathing and whatever the case is and you ain't go to the cops, you got two choices. If that did, go to the cops. Me, I'm a law abiding citizen. Anybody around me going to be a law abiding citizen, go to the police. I'm going to help the police. I'm not anti-police. So I got nothing to go back and forth with me and me and um, um, Hassan Campbell. Again, we work with the police. We don't like nothing that got to do with sexual assault, none of that. We help the police. If you have some type of disagreement, that's on you. But the police have made their state. They've made their claim. They've seen all the evidence. In your situation, did you go to the police? If you ain't go to the police because you a gangster, if you that is still alive, is he breathing? Let me check. So I know you guys always say I don't do research and you know my issues or whatever, and that might be true, right, to a certain degree. But this guy, this is intentional. He is specifically trying to make academics look bad. He, you know, something, something just ain't right. Well, what, what, what ain't right? You know what I mean? And the girl. She's lying. He's cleared it with the police. He's taking these things to the police. And Hassan Campbell, he's so bitter, man. Like, I never seen the dude. I'm gonna just tell you like how money ain't everything. The dude make the dude, the dude the dude does well. The dude makes money. All right. Hassan Campbell is not a dude that's starving for cash on YouTube. The guy is doing good. He can make as much money as he wants as long as he wants to put up the videos. But look at the guy. He a hater. The guy is miserable. I mean, he's everything that you can get in the clown. I mean, he's a clown. I mean, I, and this is not anything to do with, well, you know, uh, something bad happened to him and all that. I mean, that, that could have been true, man. But the way the young man really conducts himself, man, he is a clown, yo. And I'm like, yo, bro, like, like, yo, like, what's going on with you, man? <laughs> you know, like, you know this guy. You know, I don't have a relationship with academics, but if I did, I damn sure wouldn't have been like, yo, bro, I would have called him like, hey, man, you know, X, Y, and Z is, is out about you. And, you know, like, what's up, man? Like, you know, is you good? That's what I would have did as a real dude. I would have I would have put that out there. No question. But th this 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 is a dude that's doing anything for clout. And this is why guys like this, they never have friends on here. You know, and this is I'm going to tell you, like in this business, you need friends in the content creator business. You need friends. You need people that you can, you know, people give you tips. People let you know what's going on. People give you some game, but they're not going to do it if they don't like you. And Asan Campbell, he always is that dude that like, really can't nobody really trust. You know what I mean? He's like always. He's a cornball in the community of content creators, man, because he pulls off still stuff like this from a dude that you know, a dude that was solid enough to bring you to his podcast, you know, and you could, you're able to break bread with a guy like that. Do you know how many people would like to talk to academics about the business, about how to move, about how to do things? A, a lot of folks would. I'd like to see what he had to say. And you got the opportunity, man, and you, this is what you do. And this is why people like, yo, Hassan, don't bring him onto the podcast. He's a clown. He's corny. He's this. He's that. And they're right. The guy is corny. So guys, what do you think it's your boy, Oshie Duke Jackson? Back at it again with another episode of the celebrity drunk. I appreciate you for all you do. Scare the bell. We're out.